Good day there. Welcome. I'm Noel Brainer with the Institute for Brain Potential. You may regard me as a fictional professor at an imaginary university giving lectures to imaginary students. However, today I'm here with IBP, the leading provider of accredited programs concerning the brain and behavioral sciences. The following is a short highlight of one of our best received programs. Changing How We Feel by Changing What We Eat with Dr. Lisa Gaylor. Welcome everyone to our seminar in Changing How We Feel by Changing How We Eat. I'm Dr. Lisa Gaylor. I'm really happy to be here um, in the Bay Area. We, we just love it. We have such a lovely time when we come here. But I'm also really happy uh, to be here because I have a topic that I'll be presenting that is very close to my heart. Uh, partly for professional reasons um, and partly for personal reasons. I, I can tell you from, from personal experience that changing the way that you eat can really have big positive effects on, on how you feel. So um, from, for the, from the professional standpoint, um, I'll give you a little bit about my background. Um, I am from the Pacific Northwest. I was born and raised in Seattle. I went to the University of Washington. I went to the University of Washington, and I got my undergraduate degree in psychology, uh, in a field called physiological psychology. Has any of you heard of physiological psychology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't really exist so much anymore. It's been subsumed into the field of behavioral neuroscience, um, which I think is a little bit unfortunate. Um, physiological psychology. Um, focused principally on interactions between the brain, the mind, and the body. So how what's going on in our body influences our mind, the way that we think, the way that we feel, our moods and our emotions, and, and also vice versa, how uh, behavior, stress, and things like that influence our physiology. So that's a, a lot of what this, this uh, presentation is going to be in that, that, that theme. So uh, there is a field that has sort of taken up the mantle of that approach called psychoneuroimmunology. Have any of you heard of psychoneuroimmunology? Yay. So uh, psychoneuroimmunology is a very big tent kind of field. Um, we have specifically focused on how, um, how the mind and the body interact and influence health. Inflammation is a big aspect of that. And so it, it's, it's a big tent when I talk about it. It's because it's, it goes down from cell biology to neuroscience uh, to behavior, social psychology, and things like that. Um, so, that's a, this is, so this is the field that I actually ended up in, and I'll tell you a little bit before we get going on how I ended up in that, that field. And um, there was a point in my life where I felt like everything I was doing involved food. So I was working at, you know, my college job was working in a restaurant, and I worked in concession stands, and I worked in um, the psychology department at the University of Washington doing um, feeding and, and obesity study with rats. And so I was feeding the rats, I was feeding all my customers, and I was really thinking a lot about, I spent a lot of time thinking about food. So I was fortunate as an undergraduate uh, student in that I was able to get experience doing research in like learning aspects of our, um, of our diet, of genetic models of obesity, we studied satiety factors, we studied developmental aspects, how you know, overfeeding in childhood can lead to obesity later. We, I got a, a great experience um, as an undergraduate student. Then I went in from studying the neuroanatomy of the autonomic nervous system into studying psychoneuroimmunology, especially looking at gut-brain connections, looking at the role of the vagus, and, and the kinds of um, themes about how nerves like the vagus, sensory nerves and the vagus, influence our behavior, our moods, our thoughts, our perceptions, and things like that. Okay, so I ended up doing um, that for a, a quite a number of years. Um, I, I, I worked in the University of uh, Colorado Psychology Department, also in the University of Virginia um, Department of Psychology, and I ended up in the School of Nursing at the University of Virginia. And I'm retired now, um, and uh, what I do now is I go around uh, giving seminars like this. If continuing education with the best of the best instructors is what you need, you have come to the right place. IBP offers many real-life, in-person seminars, powerful online education via webinars and rebroadcasts. In addition, we have CDs, DVDs, and so many informative publications. 
not to mention all of IBP's programs that are led in real life by world-renowned instructors and not imaginary professors like myself. Please join us and register for your leading accreditation programs now. Or simply come on over and explore all that IBP has to offer. Click the link below for more information.